so um, it is now time for the verse of the day. Okay. Um, if you can't recall a time you've been impacted or if you want to impact others, turn to Lamentations 3, 21 to 23, which says, This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Be grateful for new hope and mercies and leave a positive impact on others. I'm Janae Graves, and this is the Ralph Graves Jr. Show. Thank you, Janae. Thank you so much for that verse. Thank you for the encouragement. The verse of the day, just a reminder, I, my name is Pastor Ralph Graves Jr. I pastor the Cornerstone Community Church in Millville, New Jersey. Uh, stop by and see us, 911 Church Street, every uh, Sunday morning, 8.30 and 10 o'clock. Now, we've had a great show so far, all right? But this show just keeps getting better and better and better. In the studio right now is, and I want to say your name right, Sienna? Siani. Siani yeah. Dean. Siani Dean from Cranky Granny Sweet Rolls. Let's give her a round of applause, everybody. Thank you. You you have no idea. First of all, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you for having me. So glad to have you here at the show. And, and um, you know, I was very happy to see you, but I was also very happy to see that she brought samples. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I always come bearing it. She brought samples. Hey, tell us a little bit about um, the Cranky Granny. Tell us about, tell us about, you know, just give us a little background. So where are you from? How did this start? All right, so I'm from Willowboro, New Jersey. Willowboro in the house, yeah, everybody. So Willowboro in the house. I'm 21 years old. I graduated from Willowboro High School. Willowboro High. So that's where I started doing like the bacon and pastry and everything. Okay. Cranky Granny Sweet Rose is basically a dedication to my granny and my grandmother, my mother as well. Okay. It's basically supposed to take you back down memory lane to all those great times you used to spend with your granny baking cookies and doing all, right, those, like, right. all, all those different types of things. And, you know, if your granny makes you know it's good, so you know Cranky Granny Sweet Rose is delicious. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that's the story behind Cranky Granny Sweet Roll. Yep. And we met we met at, a, um, at, at, at another studio, but um, just your energy and, and just to see a, another young person that's really... Uh, uh, doing some great things. 21 years old. Yeah, I just uh, turned 21. Just uh, turned January. 21. Uh, oh, January what? January 13th. Oh my gosh, that's my birthday! I'm lying. <laughs> I just lost the show. <laughs> I, I, just turned, lost. I turned 28, but January 13th. Well, well either way, I mean, okay. too. I know, I know. And so, so 21, what do you know about making sweet rolls? Man, I know 21. A I know a lot. I got you know an old lot? soul. You got an old soul. <laughs> I mean, huh? My sisters are older than me, so. There's about a 16 to 20 year age gap between me and my sisters. Okay. I'm the youngest. Okay. So I mean, I've been around like the older generation. Right. You're right. All my life. So you know, I watch I, them I, cook. Watch them do some yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially my mom. My mom's definitely done a lot of it. Cause Why like, cranky, Granny? Is your grandma cranky? Nah, she's not cranky at all. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, she's not cranky at all. You know what I mean? Not at all. It, you know, it's just like a play on words. I know. You know I it's know. a play on words. It's now, very memorable. I must admit, I, I checked out your Instagram and some things like that because you're going to be a guest on the show. Mm -hmm. And I think I saw your grandmother. Where? Is she, or did, I saw, maybe, was that your mother? I mean, mother you, Graham, I saw you, a lot of women around you and everybody looked happy. Mm -hmm. Nobody uh, looked cranky. Likely, more than likely it was my granny. Uh, nobody looked cranky. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, you seen her in person? No, she is from Philly. No, 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 no. On, on social media, you were uh, surrounded by a lot of women and they were having a blast. I said, nobody yeah. looks cranky to me. Yeah, nah, 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 not at all. <laughs> so so you, you got into sweet rolls, right? Yeah. Why the sweet roll itself? You know, it's different from what people normally do. Everybody normally has like the cupcake or the cookie. Yeah. And, I was thinking about it. Cinnabon doesn't have any type of competition, so why not come and give them some type of competition? Okay. Plus, my differentiator for that, rather than just having a regular little sweet roll, is the different toppings that you can place on top of it. So and we have about so we have about twelve to thirteen different flavors, and we we change them seasonally as well. Okay. But there's like a main twelve that we keep throughout the season. Well, more importantly, what I did you bring eating. me today? I brought you the classic sweet roll. The classic sweet roll. Yeah, yeah, we brought you the classics today. Don't be afraid to open up the bag <laughs> as we continue to talk. We're running out of time, but I must taste the classic sweet roll. All and right. then, uh, we cannot forget my producer, Dan. Okay, what, very go. good, very good. Do we have a knife or fork, or my hand's just going to get sticky? Listen, I normally say to eat it with your hands. That's the best way. Oh, eat it with my hand. I definitely suggest that. That's the way I eat. This looks 
Phenom- I wish you guys could see it, but it's radio. <laughs> WWDBAM.com, 888-329-3306. Janae Kaya, do you have any questions? I do. I do have Go questions. Ahead. Okay, so you said you started, like, baking and stuff in high school. Mm-hmm. When did you know that you were going to, like, when did you know to take it to the next level where it was just, you know, moving in, moving from just a hobby to, you know, something that you wanted to pursue? Well, guessing that you wanted to pursue this. Well, I knew I wanted to pursue this business since I was 15. Okay. So I was working on like the market research and everything like that and perfecting the sweet roll for about three years. Then I finally started like a month after graduating out of high school. Mm-hmm. So I just knew this was this is exactly what I want to do. I knew I wanted to do something in the food industry. I didn't know exactly what it was. I didn't even think I would be a baker. I thought I'd probably be a cook. Right. But Nah, I, I grasped on the bacon. But I yeah. didn't know how to cook as well, because that's how it started. I was selling the food platters and doing catering. Then I slowly started to introduce the sweet rolls as, like, the main dessert and everything. So mm-hmm. that's how that went. That's fun. I have, like, so many just, like, random baking questions <laughs> rather than, like, about Cranky Granny specifically. But uh, he's, like... like <laughs> yes, I'm eating. Like, hand motion over there. This is phenomenal. <laughs> this is phenomenal. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like a oh, like, oh, you had a nap in them. <laughs> Maybe use a disinfectant wipe. Oh, oh right to that. Do, yeah, um, please, thank you, kindly. You were, you said you've been perfecting the recipe for three years, like before, like before I actually before started. You started. It. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's. I bake and then I only do one recipe and then I'll do something else and then I'll do something else. Like I don't have any like a signature. Like if you went on like Beat Bobby Flay, you, oh you would do sweet rolls. I definitely. Would. <laughs> I know I give him a run for, my, run for his money with these sweet rolls. Thank you, bro. This is this is delicious. So where can they find you? Where can they get these sweet rolls? I I got I This is um. I gotta find. Well, Talk, where well, can I'm over, find you? I'm over in South Jersey. I'm over in Lindenwall, New Jersey right now. Um, uh-huh. my, son, you can, my son just checked in. Dad saved me a sweet roll. <laughs> no. no. But go ahead, go ahead. But you can look online. You know, if you guys are in PA and beyond, you can look online. Uh, www.crankygrannies.com. Uh, also, check out the Instagram page at Cranky Granny's Facebook, Cranky Granny Sweet Rolls. So. Now, do you do mail order? Is this mail order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and ship everywhere in the U.S. Ship and everywhere. Soon, US. soon we'll be uh, shipping internationally as well. Let me tell you, I know I got friends from Atlanta watching this and listening right now. www.dbam.com, 860 on the uh, AM tuner here in the tri state area. You need to find this young lady and cranky <laughs> grannies and order some of these sweet rolls and I, I am not playing I'm serious I'm not playing you guys know I can eat and I'm not <laughs> playing now you said you have different toppings what are some of the different toppings so some of the different toppings you could do is while I so eat. we have banana pudding strawberry caramel apple cookies and cream mocha mm-hmm. um, I'm about to introduce the strawberry shortcake one again mm. We just introduced, no, actually we'll be having the peach cobbler one come back pretty soon, so it's about 12 to 13. I can't remember all of them off top because I changed them throughout, so it's really about 20 flavors. I can't remember every single one, but, you know, that's a few. They're also, like, pretty big. They're not like these little baby sweet rolls, like... Oh, no, of they're, course not. They're like, they're, like, bigger than your palm. So, one of my favorite restaurants is Grand Lux Cafe. Uh, right. And I know everything is pretty big, and yes. that's kind of, like, what I like to do whenever I'm doing my platters as well. Give you your money's worth. Yeah. So, yeah. I want to make sure I give you your money's worth with the desserts as well. Yeah, that sweet roll is, is phenomenal. I'm going to stop eating on the air. Um, <laughs> uh, my, my daughter just, just took it over. Um, but but I, I tell you, you really have something great going on here. Thank you. Um, and you just you just took a, a family recipe and you perfected it. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, I wouldn't necessarily uh, family recipe. Right. But the business is definitely dedicated to Grant. Very good. So. Very good. You know, I I, I, I I would say that I still have some of Granny's love in me though. That's that's getting rolled into each sweet roll. So I guess you could say that's one of the main ingredients. Yeah. 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 That 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 is that is great. Do you have a kitchen? What do you do at home? Right now, I still run out of different commissary, but I just did get a, a food truck in December Ooh. and that I will wow. be turning into a Cranky Granny Sweet Roll truck specifically. Yes. So once I start doing that, I know a lot of people are going to be upset because I won't be selling the food platters or doing catering anymore. But that's all right, because then you like, 
Yeah, he'll be fun. like more focused yeah. on them. And so he'll be traveling. So you can yeah. you bring that bring that truck wherever. So if I have one an of, event, so one of my ultimate goals is to honestly go on a whole tour around the whole country. You get another tractor trailer, live in that. Okay. And just live on the road. I, that's travel a beautiful state thing. to state. That's a beautiful thing. I, it, it's going to work out for you. Yeah. Um, call us, call in 888-329-3306. Jamie Jackson, I don't want to leave you out of this conversation. I know you've been, been listening. Um, Jamie, any, any questions? I am so upset I'm not. <laughs> 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 this sweet rolls off the chain when I tell you that. When I tell you that. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I just love to see young people just, uh, well, I like to see anybody, but especially young people, 21 years old, just pursuing your, 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 your dream like that. You know, I wrote a book called Unstoppable, and you are truly unstoppable. You know, stay at it. You're going to have some ups and downs. Let me ask you real, real fast, um, and maybe share with us, um, what have been some of your challenges? How have you dealt with, or, you know, has, has failure, because in everything we have challenges. Uh, what have been some of your challenges in, in, in producing what you produce and getting it out there and, and making this stuff? And um, one of the problems that I face is realizing that I can't do everything that my peers do. Okay. Because I've been doing this since I was 18. Right. It's like I can't do everything that my friends can do. I can't react the same way my friends can react to certain things. Yeah. Well, my different my peers within my same age range. So right. like they can go out and they can say someone gets on their nerves or whatever the case is, they can go react however they will want to. I have to keep a professional manner at like all the time. So that's yeah. one thing that kind of, it's kind of difficult. Right. Because, you know, you could fall into your own emotions really, really fast. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would say that's one of, one of the personal ones yeah. that I would say. You know, and one of the things that I, I kind of tell everybody, whether young, old, or whatever, it's funny, I have people check, my mom just told me, Bring me some tonight. You know <laughs> Mom, we don't have that many. She don't want to hear that. Um, <laughs> one of the things is I always tell everybody, surround yourself um, with the people that you want to become, with the person that you want to be. Yep. Um, I, I did something on Instagram the other day, and I was talking about surrounding yourself with better people, people that are further along than you are, and, and that kind of keep you level and keep you grounded. I had a conversation with my son the other day. I said, listen, I would rather be at the bottom of a new level than leading the charge in my in my history. You understand what I'm saying? So I would rather, if I'm at a new level, I don't mind starting at the bottom and around people that are doing greater things and better things because it stretches us. And so I would just encourage you to, when you start looking at your circles and looking at your seasons of life, get around people who understand business better than you. Yeah, and that's, that's definitely been one of the goals. Um, and I don't have New Year's resolutions, but one of the yeah. goals of 2020 is to make sure I surround myself with more like-minded people. Yeah. yeah. Um, and my circle is very, very small. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, yeah. it's yeah. really just me and my best friend, and she's into um, business as well. Okay. So. All right, all right. Very good, very good. Anybody got any other questions for today? Janae, don't eat all my sweet roll. Well, how how many did you bring? You bought two of them? Yeah, I brought two of Okay. Right. I said I'm not eating it because I don't want to be chewing in the mic. <laughs> they are out. They are outstanding. They are delicious. Tell us again how they can get in contact with you again. You can get in contact with me by looking at the website at crankygrannies.com. Go on Instagram at crankygrannies. Facebook, Cranky Granny Sweet Rose, and even Twitter at Cranky Granny. I love that you've kept it all uniform. That is one of the lessons that I teach. <laughs> you can find Ralph Graves everywhere. I can find Cranky Grannies everywhere. 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 Uh, you're not switching up names. You're not, well, over here, this is this one. No, 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 no. no. We're going to stay consistent with it. We keep it Cranky Grannies, Cranky Grannies, because I, I will be, uh, we will be looking to do some things with Cranky Grannies oh, in, the, in the future. <laughs> in the future, you know. Um, I, I, this is this is remarkable. And you're you're out of Willingboro. Yeah, wow. Willingboro and Lindenwall. Willingboro and Lindenwall representing today. <laughs> Kaya, any any questions? No. How's our Twitter poll doing? What are our Twitter polls like? One hundred percent Canada Drive. One hundred percent Canada Drive. One hundred percent 
Canada Dry. Looks like we may be having a caller call in. We'll see if we have time for them or not because we're run up against uh, up against it. But again, this the Cranky Grannies, I, I'm just so glad, glad that you're here. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud to be in your presence. Um, it's, it's inspiring. People love to say what young people ain't doing. Well, that's a lie. Just around the wrong young people. I know quite a few young people that are doing some great things, and I just added you to the list. Added you. We have a caller. Uh, caller on the line. Caller, how are you? Good morning. Thanks for calling. I am well. Who is this? Hey, Joyce, how are you? Good morning, Good morning, Joyce. Good morning. Thank you, well, thank you for those thank encouraging you. words, and you named everybody in the room but me. <laughs> I'm young. Man, you cross over 50, boy, they just... <laughs> you cross, yeah, they, you get hard. Yeah, you cross over 50, they, 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 they're already distributing your goods amongst your family. But <laughs> thank you for calling in, Sister Joy. It's always a pleasure to hear your voice. Thank you for being such an inspiration. Thank you for being the hero today. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Cranky grannies, everybody. They are they are in the house. This has been a great show today, guys. Listen, you can uh, find me anywhere. Find me anywhere on every platform at RalphGraceJr.com. Go pick up my book, Unstoppable: Seven Universal Laws That'll Change the Way You Pursue and Achieve Success. Available at BarnesandNoble.com. Um, uh, available uh, uh, everywhere, Amazon.com and, and RalphGravesJr.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies. Any any final thoughts? No. Have a good day. Cheyenne. Same. Sienna. Remember that success is only your definition. Your success is not going to be the same as anybody else's. So figure out what your definition is and go after it. That's a powerful word. Thank you, everybody, for checking us out. You have a great week. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I really appreciate this. <laughs>